Hello, I'm attorney Todd Leneve. Welcome to West Virginia Gun Law. Today I wanted to take a minute and speak with you quickly about the potential reclassification of marijuana from a Schedule I drug to a Schedule III drug under the Controlled Substances Act. Stick around. The Drug Enforcement Administration, or DEA, has recently announced a notice of proposed rulemaking regarding its intent to seek reclassification of marijuana from a Schedule I drug under the Controlled Substances Act to a Schedule III drug. And what that simply means is that they are changing the category into which marijuana falls into a less addictive, less dangerous category than where it currently exists as a Schedule I drug. So what happens here is now that the Notice of Proposed Rulemaking is officially in place, the public has until July 22nd to submit comments to the DEA for consideration ahead of its preparation of a final rule. There will be groups that oppose the reclassification, there will be groups that support the reclassification, and ultimately even though it has 30 days for the rule to go into effect after publication in the Federal Register, there is always the possibility that some of this litigation will result in an injunction preventing the rule from taking place until that litigation gets resolved. So the reality is we really don't know when such a reclassification might occur, but we know that it is in fact in the works. So why are we talking about marijuana on a gun law channel? Very simply, we've seen across the country over the past decade sweeping deregulation of marijuana as a criminal matter. Some states like West Virginia allow medicinal use of cannabis, medical cannabis, with the issuance of a state card that specifies what you may have and how you're allowed to use it. So as long as you use marijuana or whatever form of cannabis is defined for you, in conformity with that card, you're legal to do so. You can't do it recreationally. It's got to be as part of that medical card. In other states, though, we've seen complete deregulation, where it's recreationally okay, and you can smoke it just for the heck of smoking it. So while we've seen these changes at the state level, it hasn't changed at the federal level. Marijuana currently remains classified as a Schedule I drug which is the most highly addictive class of drugs that are defined under the Federal Act, and therefore it's seen by the government as a bad one. In other words, if you have circumstances that suggest that you are dependent on marijuana, whether that's through an admission, whether it's through arrest, uh, perhaps multiple arrests, then the government is going to say, hey, you don't meet the qualifications of what it takes to lawfully possess a firearm, and as a result, we find that you're a prohibited person, and if you go and either try to make a purchase or are caught in possession of a firearm while you also have marijuana, you've now just bought yourself criminal charges. So the reclassification potentially is going to have a big impact on how that law is applied, and what it's going to do to people who use marijuana in one form or another. Let's take a quick look and see how Schedule Three drugs are defined under the Federal Controlled Substances Act. Under the Federal Act, a Schedule Three drug has these characteristics. A, the drug or other substance has a potential for abuse less than the drugs or other substances in Schedules One and Two. B, the drug or other substance has a currently accepted medical use in treatment in the United States. And C, abuse of the drug or other substance may lead to moderate or low physical dependence or high psychological dependence. The real significance here for the Second Amendment community 
is that we see increasing numbers of people publicly open about their marijuana use or seeking a medical card for some medical condition that marijuana seems to help. And I will say anecdotally, I've represented a number of clients over the years who I believe had legitimate medical conditions that were adequately addressed with marijuana where manufactured man-made drugs had not done the trick previously. The law is very clear on this. If you have a legitimate recognized medical need, such that the state will issue you a medical cannabis card in West Virginia, you may lawfully use medical cannabis, as long as you're doing so consistent with the prescription that's laid out on that card. So the takeaway here is that obviously we're going to have more and more people in the Second Amendment community who fall into these categories of use of marijuana. But if it is in fact rescheduled, reclassified from Schedule 1 to Schedule 3, we're now going to see a legal path forward that allows you to both be a member of the 2A community and to use cannabis in a lawful medical manner. So the two keys to that process, once this reclassification would happen, are that first, you've got to have a prescription or a medical card issued by your state, and secondly, you have to use cannabis in a manner that's completely consistent with that prescription. I appreciate you taking a few minutes with me here today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, we'd love to have you on board. Please consider doing so. Hit that like button, share this information, and let's uh, make sure that we're getting the word out there on this really pretty important potential change in the law. First time it's happened in a long time, and it could impact a lot of people for the better. Thanks for being here. Look forward to seeing the next video. Until then, take care and be safe.